The Undersea Naval Warfare Se uh, Center in Newport is busy developing some cutting-edge tech for the military. And today, the Secretary of Defense got a look at some of those projects, as did Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Rice, who joins us now from the East Bay Mobile Newsroom in Newport. This was Ashton Carter's first time coming to the Naval Undersea Warfare Center as Defense Secretary. He says he was very impressed by what he saw here. Defense Secretary Ash Carter says the U.S. has the strongest Navy in the world, and he says it's thanks in part to the cutting-edge technology made right here in Rhode Island. We count upon this very installation in this town uh, to keep us on the for forefront, and that's exactly what they're doing. The Naval Undersea Warfare Center gave Carter a tour Wednesday of some of the biggest projects they're researching and developing, like unmanned boats, submarines, and drones. The secretary got hands-on, even getting to play with the controls. It's a, a quite a tremendous opportunity to have them come here for, you know, spend a few hours and see some of our technologies. Unmanned vehicles are good for missions too dangerous for humans. They have other uses, too. Advanced mine hunting, anti-submarine warfare, uh, electronic warfare. The secretary also checked out virtual classrooms being developed. It helps sailors and soldiers learn things that are hard to explain, like how sound travels underwater. It also saves the Navy lots of money. The virtual capability allows those students to stay where they're at and virtually be in place in the classroom. We have exactly the same experience as if they were there. Carter also got to see other projects like how they're growing produce on boats, harnessing seal whiskers for detection, and hacking boats for practice so the Warfare Center can improve its own cybersecurity. Really terrific day here, seeing some of the amazing work they're do doing here in Newport. Carter says the Warfare Center has a diverse mixture of younger and older engineers. He says it's inspiring to see both generations working together. In Newport with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.